Hi guys, so I'm having a craving for cherry mash and um, I'm trying to find something a little more suitable to my lifestyle and I went to Google and I literally Googled uh, keto fat bombs, cherry mash fat bombs and this is what I came up with. So the recipe calls for a fourth of a cup coconut oil, a fourth of a cup um, coconut butter. I am going to use, um, I'm trying to... Not so power fuel blend of nut butter. It I'll show it to you when it's not upside down. Um, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, five drops of stevia. I'm gonna use monk fruit because it's what I have in my kitchen. A half a teaspoon of almond extract, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three fourths cups of frozen dark sweet cherries. So this is me doing it. I'm going to double the batch because I have some for sale. I have some going out to a customer this week, and I want some, so I'm going to double the batch. I measure this maybe a little weird, a little different than people, but this is what works for me. I use a butter knife, and I stir up the coconut oil, and I measure mine solid. I know lots of people measure theirs melted, but honestly, I'm lazy. So, it's not that I'm lazy. I just... Uh, I don't have the time, <laughs> so, and maybe I am just a little bit lazy. So, half a cup. I'm going to speed through this before I post it, so you guys aren't... Use a butter knife to get it out of the jar. It's super fancy around here. But it works, right? So, who cares? Honestly, if you would rather melt it down, you can do that in a little soup bowl, pop in the microwave for, I check it, um, I put the timer on for 30 seconds, then I check it every 10, and I pull it out just as it's melted. That way I don't scorch it. And then I'm going to use a half a cup of my nut butter. So I've already stirred this. If you use natural nut butters, you know that it separates and it's not that beautiful. But after you stir it up, this one looks, this is just excellent. I love this butter. I got it at Walmart. And it's called Nutso Power Fuel Smooth. It's got cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flaxseed, chia seed, hazelnuts, pumpkin seed, and sea salt. And that is right up my alley. So I'm doing this over, <clears throat> excuse me, in a metal bowl over a pan of boiling water. I don't have a double broiler, or you could use do this in a microwave safe bowl and pop it in the microwave, melt it all down, whatever floats your boat, however you run your kitchen. Because there is literally no wrong way to do this. As long as you don't scorch it, you're good. Of course I didn't bring a bowl over for dirty dishes. Why would I do that? And then, um, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, so I'm going to use six. I have Hershey's cocoa in my, in my kitchen right now, because I just went and bought it. <laughs> it was out. Um, you use whatever's in your kitchen. As long as, um, there's no sugar in it, you are good. You're solid. Two, three, four. should be leveling these off but in my world there is no such thing as too much chocolate so okay I use this brand of monk fruit I love it I love it very much actually instead of using the granulated I'm going to use the powder that way sometimes the granulated stays a little gritty and that's okay that's all right 
I still use it every day. But I was just gifted this powder sugar. So let's try it out. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, so it calls for five drops of liquid. I'm gonna use three tables or three teaspoons of the powdered. I'd probably just use um, two of the granulated. And then, you guys know I love Watkins vanilla extract. I just can't do without it. Recipe calls for one, for a half, so I'm going to use a whole one. And then I prefer Penzi's almond extract, but ran out. Mindy, help. Send all the extract. So I'm just going to use a brand that I bought at Walmart. And I'm going to use a whole teaspoon of that too. It does call for just a half, but like I said, I'm doubling. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so I'm going to put this over a pot of, a pot of boiling water. Melt it all down, and I'll be right back. Okay, not melted, but I forgot that I didn't show you the label for this. And there's the macros. I love it. I'll buy it again, definitely. Okay, so it took less than two minutes to melt it all down and get it all stirred in. And it is very smooth. Very smooth. So, <clears throat> math is not necessarily my strong suit, but the recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of frozen dark sweet cherries. And I think that that comes out to a cup and a half. Maybe not. <laughs> I'll figure the macros of this recipe um, when I get done. I use, I need three more hands. Okay. So I used um, my little blending cup because I wanted to make sure that there were cherries and throughout the, the chocolate. So, so the recipe says to get it all incorporated and then um, mix the cherries in. You can do this with a fork if you're just gonna make um, your, your own batch. I mean, you can do it however you want to. You can mix it with a fork. You can cut it in half. Just as long as it's uh, as long as it's the way you want it. Look how beautiful that is. Can you see that? Uh, I need to get better lighting in this kitchen. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this through. Looks pretty good to me. I didn't need this big of a bowl to make a batch of these, but my pan is big. Anyway. Okay. Now then, I'm going to take a tablespoon. The recipe says to drop two tablespoons into lined muffin tins. The recipe, um, the, the person who wrote the recipe said to use mini muffin tins. I do not own mini muffin tins. I own regular muffin tins. And these silicone liners, if you're going to make um, candy, it, it doesn't matter. No matter what you're making, these silicone liners, I got them off of Amazon like seven bucks, I think. But I've had I've had these two years. You can see they're they're well loved, but um, you should own them if you don't. <laughs> they're fantastic. I have them in cake pans too. So one, and 
It's pretty big. That's how I got chocolate on it from where I rested my spatula. So I'm going to finish filling these and put them in um, the freezer about 10 minutes or so, just until they're set. The nut butter and the coconut oil will, um, will set up pretty quick, but I want to make sure they're good and solid. And the silicone liners release them very well. So whether you are um, trying to get your fat macro up or whether you're trying to go sugar free and find candy without the scary stuff in it, if um, you're just trying to get more coconut oil in your life, these are full of good fat and not so full of sweet. And they're chocolate. Chocolate is good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this because you don't wanna sit and watch me do 24 of these. And then I will, um, I'll show you what they look like after they get hard, after they come out of the freezer. See you in a minute. Where are we going? I think so. Okay, so they're done. And um, you could let them sit uh, from 10 minutes to an hour. I did dishes, and I promise you, the moment I find that magic lamp, my first wish is that every dish that I use becomes instantly clean. Regardless, I'm sorry. So put them in the freezer until they're set. I think that it's uh, that fat bombs taste better when they're still kind of frozen. Um, these are no exception. I took a bite before, you know, I licked the bowl. And I just had a bite before I videoed this. And um, they are pretty fantastic. So you can leave them, see how they're sort of making a mess on the liner. If you leave them in the, in the re, I mean in the freezer, if you leave them in the freezer a little longer, they'll come out clear. But I wanted to, uh, I'm almost done for the day, so I wanted to show this to you before. I left, but these are fantastic. It tastes like, um, okay, so they're not like a direct dupe of cherry mash, but they are definitely curing the craving. And they're creamy. That nut butter is ridiculous. There's a little sweet from the cherry and um, from our monk fruit. I might next time um, put a little crunched up um, almond or something on top of it just to have a little crunch. And I'm, the next time I might try to leave them a little, the cherries a little more full. I wanted to tell you, I did figure up the macros on this recipe with, um, with the different nut butter and um, the little extra... It's just the differences that I made. So they come out to, um, each one has 12 grams of fat, 4.4 net carbs, and 1.7 grams of protein. So this one, this one right here, this is mine, is going to fit into my macros perfectly. And I'm going to eat it while I edit this video. So if you guys enjoy the, the keto candy fat bombs, however, you know, you want to say it whatever you call them. If you want to see more videos, more videos on these recipes, just let me know. We'll try it out. If there's another candy bar that you're craving and you're sugar-free, let me know. We'll try it out. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Why do I always sign off like I'm hanging up the phone with you guys? I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go. Have a good day.